I'm almost done. It's taking me, oh, it's taking like two and a half hours to do it. That's a long time and I haven't quite done yet. And then all this stuff, I've got like um, the actual flooring what I'm using down there. You're not supposed to leave anything out, but I'm going to stick everything under the caravan because I don't want it inside the caravan. Sorry, guys. I'm quite happy to be here for a change. I think I'm going to start enjoying the next couple of weeks, which I'm here. And Jake has to... Why are you dribbling? She has to get... She's dribbling. Daniel's kept the house reasonably clean, tidy, and he's doing the washing. Hey baby, mm -hmm. what's going on with your hair? Uh, the hairdresser being off. <laughs> that is some big hair. From top to bottom. They're not mine, they're all Daniel's. I haven't got a one pair of shoes, it's ridiculous. Daniel, can you sort it out? Ow, Jack. Can you go out, Jackie? I'll just go out. You can't find the keys to the door. So <laughs> I stuck a little box down there. Right down there. So hopefully nobody comes out, otherwise I'm gonna be stuck outside in the cold. I'm not exactly where the warmest stop. Are you staying up and watching a movie, Daniel? Yeah. What are you gonna watch? Good night, yeah, if my remote works. Well, I went to bed anyway. Good night. I made this beef stew last night. Check that out. I put it in the pressure cooker, left it for 30 minutes, had the beef stew. Daniel came back, had the beef stew. Oh, every time I'm on the camera, she's in my face. And then I thought I'll open the beef stew, I'll open the pot this morning and like put it in the fridge. It is hot, it, it's still hot. I hope it's okay. No, it's hot, so like there'll be no germs or anything like that, I hope. She eats my stew. Yes, and his trifle. And the trifle, she went into the fridge, she says I need to put on some calories. Yep. She's had two lots of stew now, that's a third trifle. Yeah, <laughs> and we're really calm. <laughs> and where does it go? To? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're off to Wimbledon and we are going to do a bit of exercise and have some Yay. fun. It is so busy. Can you believe that? What are they doing, Rowena? Maybe they're welcome so to sit. Sorry, <laughs> And we're off. Here they Come on, come on. <coughs> come on, doggy. Is it on? Yeah. Second t-shirt's just, just come out and luckily Ro has found these min miniature gloves. I didn't realise how good it was. After I, I told you I dragged you on that floor that day. <laughs> you know, and then after that, it's just brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I don't think that dog's friendly. Keep Jack away. She looks like Bear. a caterpillar. I she, do. She's about to emerge. It's either, that, it's either that or she looks like a turd climbing out of a sphincter. <laughs> well, done. well, that wasn't bad. We're on the highest port. My, my dogs just keep running everywhere to anybody. We're at the highest port on Wimbledon Common now. Highest port we can get to. I'll show you just behind where we are. And then... Um, we are going to have another little circle around. You can see that's the hill because it goes all the way down, down, down. We're going to circle around this area and then try and get back into the car before the sun completely sets. Because as you can see, I know you can't see it very well because it's quite bright on this video camera. The sun is setting. Look at that, Rowena. Look how beautiful that is. I felt that. <laughs> so we've got a bit of a confession to make. We didn't actually go round to all the hilly places which we usually go around. So that was just a little sample. Not true. Not true. Not true. So true. It's because I got distracted by a mushroom. The caravan seasonal pitch finishes in March. I can't remember what day it is exactly, but then you have to move the caravan. And I always stay like within an hour or two hours away from Fulham in London, but I'm thinking now of going to Exeter Racecourse 
Um, I know it doesn't sound very glamorous, but it's so close to the sea. And then you've got Dortmoor National Park around there. So I'm going to speak to Daniel, who is now... Morning, Daniel. Morning. <laughs> I made him get up so he can discuss this. And then we're going to come up with a decision because that would be exciting. It would be. Daniel's been so indecisive. I really want to try and get this caravan somewhere near the beach. I know it's further to go, but... I think it's the right thing to do, but it's too far for him. He's saying that traveling three and a half hours in the car or three hours on the train is too much, and I get that. Long bit of dribble, that's because I'm eating one of these leftover orange kind of sponge pudding thing. Jack's in my bad books and she knows it. I made a really nice piece of pork today with crackling. Cut it up. I turned my back for a second and she took a great big piece off the plate and she was going nom, 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 nom. so I threw her outside and I shouted at her and I haven't given her any attention since I was really bad, I did not take them out yesterday but there's a reason why, Belle was limping she ran about, it was only three miles but she wasn't well at all so I thought I'd give her a rest yesterday um, and today we're going back out on the bikes when Rowena gets her fat ass over here. Nicking my makeup. Always. Get that makeup on me. And what are you putting on your face? Extra virgin olive oil. And then how long do I put you in the oven for? Uh, I'm roasted already. <laughs> <laughs> My bum hurts. Is that rubbish? We had um, we had like pork yesterday, and that was it. Just meat, meat, meat. Yum, yum, and, yum. and I haven't been very well today, meaning I've been pooing a lot. And now you my bum. I can't. And now my bum all hurts. So I don't know what to do about that. Oh my god! Why did you choose this one? Why? But since when? No. no. I've never seen that sign saying no cycling around the lake, ever. No, neither have I. Well. Well. Yeah, well. Why the hell do people have to butt in and tell us what we can and can't do and it's nothing to do with them? Because he thinks he's a ranger, clearly. Do you know what he is? He's a f <laughs> In two days in a row, you can get just a lot of meat. And I think his body can't deal with it and he gets a bit acidy in his belly. So when he then has to go and poo and it's all runny, it burns his bum hole and that's why it's stinging. Today's gone so quick and now I've just dragged Daniel out of bed because we have to take a computer to the bell stop is. I won't be always put this cotton already. All right, I'm gonna get my shoes on and then I'm gonna go. Now I've gotta go on the bike. I hope I don't get too cold, but Daniel's lending me a scooter so I can get over to sorry to meet Reggie and Jammer. So, oh, this coat is heavy. I look like a really snuggly snowman. That was very quick on the bike and I didn't get lost and I didn't use a sat nav. Now I'm in Victoria, so that's Victoria Station just behind me. A lot of people talk about Paddington, but Victoria is the kind of place to be because you've got Victoria train station where I'm at now, and you've got Victoria bus station, and the people come from everywhere. Okay, and this is Reggie's little cosmetics counter. Where's Reggie? You go out with Reggie, you go and meet him, and he spends all day on the phone. That's all he does on the phone. We've come to Jane Oliver's restaurant. Who wants the vegan menu? John, John, why am I sitting so long? Because this is my little boy and he needs a cushion. You look so <laughs> like, like Mizuki, you look like an, a little gnome healthy person. And the farm, and the farm. Manny Sebastian? Sure. Look who's here. My beautiful friend, Shama. I had a bad night's sleep last night. Look at my bed. So that's when I slept to try and get rid of my back pain. But I had a bath this morning. 
starting to feel a little bit better. Oh, ah, the dog just jumped up and scratched my belly. Okay, don't take them out of the toilet. She's so naughty. Need to get away from um, the house environment. And John is working, and then if he works, he always complaining. So, might as well just enjoy my day off with the dogs, and then he can work as much as he wants. Hey, Jack, 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 Jack. Yesterday, I spent the whole day in bed uh, watching Netflix, and the only thing I did was taking the dog out, which I think is reasonable because Jack is really crazy and she needs she needs her exercise. I think what I need now it's um, to be a shopping retail therapy just uh, to keep me going. Maybe go some. Uh, to Northern Road to get some veg or uh, meat or maybe a charity shop or two. Let's see what I'm gonna do. Well, Rowena's supposed to be coming around to take some work which we're doing together. And then, actually I'm gonna ask her what time she's gonna come around. Then I'm just gonna take the evening off. I'm tired and my back still hurts. <laughs> Such a moany bitch. <laughs> Rowena's learning Russian. <laughs> <laughs> so she's been studying it for like five seconds and then Why just are you turned up. Everybody? So I'm spoiling it, I'm spoiling the surprise. Oh! <laughs> Spam it! Shiny was on a very early shift this morning. He's set up at six o'clock. So when he comes back, he's going to be tired. But it's nice for him to start early, like at the normal time for a change. Come on, girls, up the stairs. Have some fun with glow in the dark nails. I bet you could. You mean in the middle of Wimbledon Common when you slap him around my forehead? <laughs> yes. So you know where to plant your face. Your fist. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> we got two crabs yesterday. I should have shown you them actually. When we cooked them, one of them was rotten in the middle. So Daniel exchanged them for some prawns, which were really good. So we <laughs> had those today. And now he's watching. The Little Mermaid. New version. Because anything to do with princesses. Because he wants to be a princess. A princess. <laughs> I'm sat here with no TV on in the dark. I just put the light on to talk to you. I don't know what I'm doing. It's so early. It's nearly like 8 o'clock. Anyway, for all intents and purposes, I'm going to say goodnight. So, see you in a week's time. <laughs>